All right, so you're wondering about Thornton and what all the hype is about. Well, in this video, we're gonna dig in and give you a little bit of insight as to why we decided to make it our stomping grounds. Yeah, we have taken you from North Glen to Broomfield to Westminster, and now one of you reached out and finally said, why Thornton? Well, we're about to show you. All right, let's go. All right, welcome back to the channel. You are watching Living in Denver Metro North with your Colorado real estate family, Pete, and Chelsea Sweeney here. And with us, you get to have your cake and eat it too. How do you even know they like cake? Peasant food, no doubt. For those of you watching, if you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Give us a thumbs up. We want you to be notified every single time that we put out a new video and we are making new videos every single week. Yeah, guys, what we do is we approach our videos as natives, as a family, and as your local real estate agent, because here's the thing, if you're looking at moving in the Denver metro area, there's a lot of other areas that you need to be exposed to. And that's what we really focus on, those outlying areas that you don't know too much about, because really what it all comes down to is we're the guys that you need to know to get you to where you want to be. So let's go ahead and uh, do some drone view and we'll come right back. All right, so the main reason we're actually making this video is because one of you reached out and kind of called us out a little bit. You said, why are you guys covering all these different cities, all the great things in the other cities, and then choose Thornton? And so I guarantee you're gonna wanna hang out to the end because we're gonna give you the main reason why we did to choose to live in Thornton. Yeah, we are going to be counting backwards from what we think is kind of all the way down to the most important thing. And number five we're starting with is that it's Thornton is very new. Yeah, and with new, I know that Chelsea has some different reasons than I do, but I'm kind of more technical, was supposed to be a mechanical <laughs> engineer in a sense. I want new infrastructure. I want to be able to move somewhere where I'm not worrying having to replace my sewer pipes, not having to worry about decrepit streets, houses falling down. And so Thornton has a very new sense to it and they put a ton of money in to make sure that it is newer, you know? And so if you go north of 120th, this is all the newer section of Thornton area where, I mean, when we were kids, Thornton was kind of like, um, it was far away. No one really went there too much. Didn't and have that great of a reputation either. No. Even now, people coming from Denver, they're like, you live in Thornton? And oh, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> believe me, it's different than what we remember, you yeah, know? Yeah, it is. Yeah, definitely. And like I so said, just growing up, it just wasn't as what it is now. And so that's why we love it so much. So uh, yeah, like I so said, that's the main reason, like I so said, the, the newness of the, the stuff underground, I so, guess. Yeah, and we're like talking about this, right? Like, what are the, all the reasons that we moved here? Um, and he's like, it's new. And I like immediately went to relationship stuff because mm -hmm. one of the things about being in a newer part of Thornton is a lot of it is new builds. A lot of it is new people in the neighborhood. We came from Thornton before this house even. Um, and had the most amazing neighbors. Oh, they were awesome. Um, and it was it was a old a kind of a little older of Thornton. Um, and well, so our, was, our best friends were in their fifties. I mean. Yeah, <laughs> but it like it it definitely um, was something. We're like, oh my gosh, we're gonna move to a whole new neighborhood. Mm -hmm. 
but the good thing about that is everybody in this neighborhood's new. It's not a well-established neighborhood. And so you're not walking into friendships that have been made for 20 years. Like it gives yeah. us a really good chance to create a community. So it was just funny because we were like, yeah, it's new. And I went immediately to like, oh my God, all of these new friends. And Peter's yeah. like, oh, I was talking about the sewer line. I was like, <laughs> what? Yeah, I kind of like the more, <laughs> the more boring sense of everything. So, so I told him, I was like, that's great. You could talk about the newness of all the stuff that, because you know, we talked about this in one of our other videos. If you have haven't seen it. Um, it was the cost of living. Nope. It, uh, what it cost to have a house in Northland. Anyways, oh. he was uh, same thing, kind of talking about. Um, in Northland, you can't buy a house that's newer than 1980 for the most part. Yeah. Yeah. So. But Thornton is all brand new, all new friends. I mean, we. Okay, here's an example, really quick. Yep. Our friends um, are in a well-established neighborhood that has this bike race for the 4th of July. Uh, yeah. And they have doing, I don't even know, like probably like 10 years or something crazy. You yeah, know? they've been doing it quite a they've while. They've been doing yeah. it forever. Yeah. And in our new neighborhood, like it would be awesome if going into a well-established neighborhood if that was what it was like in that neighborhood. But if it's yeah. not, starting something new like that would be really challenging. Well, this year, you know, I was like, okay, like it's a brand new neighborhood. Everybody's new. You know, we all want to meet each other. Like, why not try? And thank God, like we did. Because it was pretty every, awesome, yeah. It was so awesome. Yeah, the kids had a bike race. The neighbors came together for a potluck. It was the first time, because like I said, our neighborhood is, is you know, only a couple, two, three years old, mm -hmm. that all the neighbors were actually able to get together. You know what I mean? It's great that we were able to form that from the get go and be like, oh yeah, we started that, you know? Yeah, so. and I think it really helps that everybody's new. There's no clicks. Like everyone's just trying to figure out where they fit into the community. And that for me was was really cool to be able to like walk into something new yeah, like that. No one wants a grumpy Betty next door. You know? No, I'm no sorry. grumpy Betty. If, they, if, you, if you're a grumpy <laughs> Betty and you're listening to this, I'm sorry, I don't mean to offend you, but we don't, we don't there's always that us. grumpy Betty, you know, that calls <laughs> just because you have the one thing out of place. She's like calling the city and reporting the cops to you it's like dude my trailer was outside for five seconds what the heck so <laughs> we but. don't we don't attract grumpy buddies so nope. i think we're good nope we're, we're good. all good to go <laughs> all right cool so uh the number four reason is the distance to denver and this is actually kind of like a oxymoron in a sense it's just far enough away that or we're away from all the congestion and stuff but we're also near enough to where we are close to all the amenities that we really want all that stuff so me personally like I mean, Chelsea, she lived in Kansas for a little bit and loved the atmosphere of the small town. You know, everyone's kind of doing their thing. Everyone knows who's marrying who, who's business. Everyone knows all that. I don't want any part of that, right? But at the same sense, I also don't want to be somewhere where it's super congested, where I wake up and it takes me a half an hour to go a mile, you know? So Thornton, since we're on the northern end, it's essentially the most northern part of the North Denver metro area. We're away from a lot of that congestion, you know, but at the same time, if we do want to spend a weekend or something like that downtown, it's seriously 30 minute drive right down there. So the distance, um, it's got a, a pro and a con to it for sure. Yeah, yeah. so my friends, since we talk about Kansas, they're no, the mo nobody stays in Kansas, so they're in Nebraska now. <laughs> oh, but, that's right, yeah. uh, but anyways, they come and visit, and you know we could still give them the joys of you know visiting Denver, right? Mm -hmm. Like especially people who come from Kansas, like I want to see the city. Um, so we could still have that, you know, we could still be close enough that we can go enjoy dinner downtown, and or if we, you know, there's a special event, like it's just not that big of a deal. But also, again, like Peter says, like we don't have to be in it, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, the other thing too is we're not far, like too far away that there's no transit like we have um the light rail, light rail yep. too so i mean if you go further north than us obviously that's not there so this is probably as far as it goes really for now for now for well, now but that's what i'm saying like yeah. it's already i mean it, we knew both houses that we bought in thornton it was because there was a light rail or it was a part of it that there was a light yeah. rail right down the street um so we do have that accessibility to denver but we don't have to be right there. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. we're probably as north as you can go right now to still have that accessibility. Yeah, yeah. And like I said, I mean, it's all preference, right? Like mm -hmm. I said, us personally, we just, we just prefer kind of being more away from the downtown scene. But who knows? You might love that downtown scene where, like I said, you have that walkability and everything that you're looking for. It's just us personally, we like being a little bit away from the from the craziness well and now so a friend of mine finally got me on one of those electric scooters so now i'm like okay because i hate driving in denver that's just not i mean right i lived in kansas okay we had one <laughs> we had one stoplight uh in denver it's a lot for me like i don't like driving in denver now i'm just gonna take the light rail and i'm gonna ride a scooter uh what is this traffic traffic that's some kind of national holiday ha ah. you mean to tell me this happens every single Day. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> <Way around. laughs> yeah. 
Anyways, uh, I okay. I done the scooters. It's so yeah. fun. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't get the whole thing, but yeah. now I get it. <laughs> yep. Okay, yep. let's go to number three, number which three. is amenities. Our, our amenities, yeah. So Thornton has so many amenities and it's like that's a big reason why we really love up here since it is so new you have all the restaurants that you're kind of looking for you know where you have our favorite um thai spot that we go to is high basil god the fact that we could just be it's just right down the street we love that but all the different amenities you have your shopping you have the mall you have um oh with the your mall over there orchard or the other one both of them i guess <laughs> so <laughs> they're like a block from each other yeah so. so depending on where you are in thornton you know, you could be a little further away from the mall. So we, of course we have like the outlet mall, like actually located in Thornton and, you know, pretty accessible from wherever you are, kind of in the North Thorntons because it's between 136, nope, 144th and 136th. Um, so even if you're coming from 120th, like I said, we're talking kind of about the newer area of Thornton, 120th and up. And so even if you're in any of the new area, you're really close to the outlet mall. But the good news too about like, where we are in Thornton with the amenities is that, you know, Westminster is right across the street. So we also have Orchard and all of their shopping and restaurants. So it's just, it's really close to another really like fun city too yeah. that, I mean, we could just, it took me five minutes to get over there today. Yeah. I had lunch over there yeah. today. So yeah. I it like our location because it's just, it's surrounded by a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah. The outlet mall, how old is it? Two years old? Yeah, it's really new. Yeah, when you found out about that, we we're, we're pretty stoked because, I mean, the closest one, you could go up to Fort Collins, and there's a guy one up there. They got one down in Castle Rock, but the Denver outlets, it's, it's a big deal. Oh, yeah, it was a huge deal for Thornton. Uh, with that, between a couple between that and Top Golf, I think those are the two biggest things that everyone was talking about. Well, in area. and the, all you parents out there, they have the coolest park there. It's kind of rope based. If you haven't checked out, what video is that? One of our vlogs. That was a top three neighborhood. Or, it no, it vlog. was the vlog, North Denver mm -hmm. vlog. Yeah. Um, yeah, Denver, yeah, North Denver vlog. Um, we walk you through, of course, it was freezing out at that time, but yeah. it. Uh, we did walk you through it and it is so cool. Super cool. Um, and that's in Thornton. Like, that's our mall, you know? So that's really cool to be able to just have that right there. So, yeah, of course. All right, number two. Yes. Number two. Number two. Number two is the things that to do in Thornton, I guess, well, and all this stuff. And it's dedication. It is to dedication. Our yeah, yeah. So yeah. Thornton, we've talked about this with North Glen too, but they are very dedicated as a city to the people and, and putting on you know different festivals. They have uh, Thornton oh Fest. They have the Harvest Festival. So they nice. have Christmas time. They build like a whole village over at Market Carpenter Park. Yes. It's seriously like a, like a magical like Christmas oh, it's village. It's so lovely. Yeah, for Halloween, they do like a haunted house style type thing over there. Fourth of July, fireworks like fireworks, crazy. Their own fireworks show. Yeah. I mean, Thornton, so a lot of that is hosted at Margaret Carpenter, which is one of the main parks for Thornton, right? Yeah. Rec yeah. centers and yeah. parks. It now has a senior center that just went in a year or so ago. Um, but they, I mean, they have so many cool things, which if it's not for the kids, it's also for businesses, yeah. right? Like, I mean, how many times have you had a table down there oh, at yeah, the festivals? Yeah, yeah well, at Thornton Fest or whatever. Yeah, Thornton Fest. Yeah, so, bus yeah, businesses, you could sit there and open up a booth and local you Local businesses thing. coming yeah. together, supporting one. I mean, I don't know about you, but here in Colorado, like we love local, you know? And um, what a great way for this, like multiple festivals for year or, uh, per year to bring your family together and also promote what you do to support one another and be a community. Like Thornton, really has that down yeah we even have um so wait before i move on to the next rec center um i mean i do a lot of this rec center so our chill uh kingston yeah before covid but kingston um he had swim lessons there at six months we do gymnastics there i mean they just have so many things to do now they have the senior center dedicated specifically to our seniors mm -hmm. um on the same you know corner in thornton um and then like that wasn't enough thornton knew that they were building kind of more east because there's still a lot of uh building new yeah. building going out east they put in another rec center yeah yeah, called trail, trail wind wind. yep. trail winds trail winds <laughs> i got tongue twisted. <laughs> try singing that five times fast <laughs> yeah. um so you know although they even have one of the best rec centers with market carpenter they were like 
well, we need to have another one for these new build. Like, I well, just wasn't think, didn't they just redo Market Carpenter too? Like, didn't yeah. they just renovate it? So, yeah, because the gymnastics yeah. room was changed. They changed the gym yeah. and they got all. Yeah, it's. I mean, the dedication to the people around here and helping us all come together is is pretty wonderful. Well, and Market Carpenter. Now that I'm gonna just kind of kind of emphasize a little bit more. Our old house used to be near Market Carpenter. And man, we used to love when the kids were real little and the dogs go walk around there, like have a little lake there with the paddle oh, boats yes. and everything. It was like the best walk. Like just go in the park. Lakes. It's alive. Like there's so many people that are just hanging out in the parks and such. So that was amazing. And they do the, um, all the shows. Remember though, they have like an outdoor, um, thing for like music and all that. Remember that outdoor right by below the park? Oh yeah. So there's a splash pad over there as well. Oh. Thornton's taking care of their land. See? <laughs> They're Coming making sure it looks along. really nice. Um, I'm going to let him get a little further away. Not like you can't hear me. I'm pretty loud. but So below the splash pad and the outdoor park and all that, they even have like this um, seating for music and yeah. all of that. Yeah, so. it's a little, uh, what the heck do you call it? What them? is that called? I don't know. Yeah. Anyways, you know, we'll show you a picture. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Very cool, guys. And then the main reason that we moved to Thornton was honestly our lot, the location. Yeah. So it's like we initially looked up here because I knew Top Golf was going in. I knew IKEA was going in. I knew the outlet was going in. So I knew all the stuff was going on. I was like, we have to get in this area because of all the different stuff. Our, our equity is going to shoot up like crazy, right? And then it's like we found this lot. Chelsea was kind of picky about the the house too because we looked at other houses blame pretty me picky. Like, yeah we looked all over and so she really liked the the style of our house these were all huge determining factors but want to kind of tell the story about our lot and kind of like oh my how... gosh sure I, this is pretty personal but we're going for it yeah, since you guys asked <laughs> um so we I don't know what it is about York Street but there's a street in Thornton it's called York it's like a really wide street it's um, really nice established neighborhoods, the really trees, pretty, it's beautiful, yeah, yeah. And it just was, I don't know, it, something like depending on what you feel, like I just see it drawn to certain areas and I just, I'm like, oh, I just love this area. So we came up here because they were having, we actually came for the opening day, remember the food yeah, truck? Yeah. So we came for the opening day of this um, community yeah. and um, we were just driving around, you know, like playing pretend really, you know, and we, there's one cul-de-sac in the whole neighborhood mm -hmm. and the cul-de-sac lot and based off of the drawing of, of the whole neighborhood had was backed up to open space and yeah. just seemed really be it was right on the trail the trail led to several parks for the kids it led to the school if you choose so um it's behind I us was gonna right say, now uh, yeah i see? mean this, this is our view <laughs> this is our backyard we'll show you but this this is our backyard and this was what it looks like and so we we didn't really know how we were gonna afford this it, we lived in a little bit of an older neighborhood and we we're like oh my gosh are we gonna like how much do these houses cost like we've never bought brand or you know peter has done fix and flips um, and we have renovated our houses from the moment that we lived together. And so coming into a brand new home, we were yeah. like, I don't even know what that's gonna cost anymore, you know? So anyways, we were like, oh my gosh, I don't know. I, we'll just keep driving by. So we did, huh? We drove by, Yeah. How, I mean, how many times? Did well, we every time we went to Costco, we're like, oh, <laughs> you wanna drive by the lot? And so when did we finally put our name in? Well, in the lot? so we drove by and we're like, oh God, I just love this lot. Let's just pretend it's ours. So we went in and we were just like asking them when, they're when, release when do you think you're going to release this lot so that we can kind of get an idea about what it would even cost to live in a neighborhood like this and uh they're like oh oh no they didn't tell us yet right oh no, no they, we, we're at costco yeah they're like oh we'll let you know what hasn't been released yet and so we're like okay cool like thank you so much we did our little pretend and then we went to costco so did they call us while we were there well, yeah right? like while we were there yeah and they said you better get here now because we're releasing it to whoever comes first oh and so we're like oh my gosh we gotta go I didn't know how much it was going to cost. I mean, we had we had gone here before and we had like kind of built it out just to kind of play with, but we didn't know anything about what the lot cost really. Um, and they're like, you need to get here now because we're going to have to just start going down the list. And we're like, oh my gosh, how are we going to do this? Yeah. But we did. We just did it. We like went there. We wrote a check. I was like, here you go. <laughs> um, and we did. We put it down. And actually, our, our best friends now, um, they told us later on that, like, they're like, they we, walked in after us. So we're walking they out the and they're lot. walking in for the exact same lot. Yeah. So. And they're like, oh, <laughs> they ended up getting the perfect lot for them. So we didn't steal it. But um, anyways, yep. long story short, everything lined up. I'm sure you guys have some of those instances in your life where just everything kind of perfectly lined up. And that was this for us. You know, like the lot was perfect. Peter yeah. talked to you guys about how picky I was about the house. He's cruising. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, he's gonna okay. 
Uh, Peter talked about how picky I am about the house. Like we host a lot, you know, and depending on what you like, you know, look around because all the new builds are very different and we have a lot of choices up here yeah. because yeah. it's all new. There's so many choices and I found the perfect house for me. So I know that people, when they're looking in the new places, they're going to find that perfect house because yeah. there's just so many different houses and this was the one for us. Yeah. So, I mean, that's ultimately the main reason why we decided to move to Thornton or I guess re move into Thornton. I know we were already in Thornton. <laughs> we just moved further north. Well, I mean, we were, we've always kind of had our hearts in Arvada just because that's where we grew up, you know, born and raised in, in Arvada, Westminster area. And we always kind of had our hearts set there, but I'm, it goes back to that newness. Up here is brand new. I got Topgolf, I got Costco, I got Amazon Everything. right over there. The first time I got my Amazon package on one day delivery, it was literally the same day. <laughs> I was like, holy crap, I just ordered this two hours oh, ago. God. So. First world problems. I, I seriously, like when it takes three days, I'm like, oh my gosh, what happened? Do you want me to come <laughs> pick it up? I can walk there. Yep. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you guys called it out. We have showed you all the different neighborhoods around here. If it says anything, we've literally, our last two houses were in Thornton because we love Thornton. And yeah. we believe that, you know, it just, it really fits our like family like perfectly i yeah. mean i mean we have a family we like open space we love hanging out with neighbors and the burbs and all that stuff and so that's just kind of a, it for us but we yeah. also like to be close to yeah. boulder fort collins and denver and oh, we yeah. get a little bit of everything right here yeah all right cool guys well there you go um like i said we love that we were able to bring this video like so this is one that was near and near to our hearts just because this is our home i mean we call thornton our home right now and so it's great that we were able to tell you a little bit about it uh kind of uh show you why we chose to live here so yep. i would choose it time and time again so yep. thanks so much for reaching out if there's a certain topic that you want us to cover let us know don't be afraid to call us out we're an open book and we don't mind sharing and so if there's a question that you have for us please comment down below uh we're going to put our number here up on the screen so give us a call text however you prefer we're here for you we do this for you uh we really thank you for joining us today sounds good guys we love you and until next time see ya bye All right, so you're on, your Colorado real estate family, Pete and Chelsea Sweeney, and with us, you get to eat. Damn it, that was a good. Welcome back to the channel. You're watching Living in Denver. And with us, you get to have your cake and eat it too. How do you even know they like cake? I don't know. Everyone likes cake, don't they? <laughs>